What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, the defenders at Breslau are going to sally and try and break off the siege. However, I don't think it's going to work. Um, we have a lot of firepower and we're ready to put out, put out a lot of damage. But the really important thing to do here is to make sure you deploy far enough back so that their garrison mortars cannot attack you because they're static and they have to uh, uncrew them and push towards you. That's the only thing to really bear in mind. Um, but yes, things are going reasonably well in the Prussian War. So I think we're in a we're in a good place. We're in a really good place. So I want to deploy here. I'm going to deploy over here. The ground's a bit a bit flatter. Although, back here we have the town. Either way, the name of the game is to deploy back. We do not want to deploy within range of their artillery, because all that will serve to do is give them cheap and easy kills and whittle down our own strength. Now it's just going to deploy back... deploy some stakes here and in front of our army in general try to just dump some stakes down keep my general back and then my other union of artillery that I haven't deployed deploy on this slight bit of high ground These men can try and protect the uh, right flank. Let me just get my artillery just to shoot it, whatever they like. They have to come at us. See, they got their. Gunners are in the centre. They should, um, they should drop them because they can't actually use them. Yep, there they go. One crew's dropped them. Let's maybe make these got this entire flank all line infantry guards. Then we'll have some backup over here. Other than that. Until they're ready to attack, let's just play on. Play with time compression on. Okay, here they come. So let's hit the Swiss Grenadiers with howitzers. It'll be so much better when we get quick climb. Right now, we are just. We are not at our full potential. Kyrsiera moving up. The gunners, with no other choice, they have tried to push our line. Good hit. So then the other gun crews will abandon. The other gunners will abandon their guns at some point. But here it is. Here's the main action. Oh, please run into the stakes. Ah, oh, shucks. Okay, these gunners... Engage those hussars at the back. These gunners engage the provincial line marching towards us. Howitzers focus on providing close support. Another line infantry unit into the mix. Advance the line infantry guards up. Effectively just attack ground with carcass shot. Turn this into a little valley of death.
bit of a misfire. Okay, put one unit. Come on. They might not be able to reach. They might not be able to see them from up here. These guys will will have visibility on the enemy cuirassier, though. But yeah, they can see them slightly. Engaging the uh, Urasier principally. My hussars are being shot at. Pro it's probably secondary fire from their infantry that's missing. Switch the canister shot. The gunners have decrewed the guns. Everyone's out to play. Howitzers engage the expat infantry at the back. Advance. Ah, heavy cavalry. They're running in front of my line. Yeah, the valley's been cleared. The gunners have charged the 79th regiment. So bayonet charged them. So they've been defeated, fall back into the defences. Yes, please, Bosniaks. They're going down fast. Take position on the high ground. Blast the militia. Get this infantry out on the flank. These men are going to reload. Blast the provincial line. Ooh, good shot. Couple of hits. That's a big miss. Interesting, they seem to be shooting without fire by rank, so maybe they've not got it. Artillery, round shot, a mounted troop. Hussars get out here on the flank. You may advance to try and engage them with musketry. Actually, no, don't do that. That's silly. My hussars can deal with all of them. Darker shots just not as good. My hussars will take out the blunder by shotgunners. from that it's, it's all of the enemy's forces in full retreat I mean, apart from these chips they go chew up the blood of our shotgunners Don't kill them. Specifically, don't kill them. 
all my artillery focus on that last unit of militia. gonna break soon always we're gonna break soon look at this fellow on his pike looks pretty nifty cool and let's go attack the mounted troop because they have elected to mount up we are gonna end the battle there we don't want to kill them too well we want their garrison to be weak Although they've not got many men left in the garrison anyway. Okay, the enemy Prussians, they held off quite well down in that corner. Um, hmm. No trades, no technology for you, Poland. No, Poland, no. So the Ottomans, what are they going to get up to? Some sort of shenanigans, I suspect. We do need to build a navy just to go deal with them. We can't. They're just running around causing problems right now. Oh, that's really handy. <laughs> um, so let's see if Denmark and Poland join. No. Phew. So their only axis of advance against us is via Crimea. So we want to go look at that. That's really bad. That's... that's Date. That's so bad. So bad. <laughs> um, well, it's not terrible. I might try and see if I can make peace with them immediately. I suspect we won't get it, but it's worth trying. Oh, it's always worth a try. Oh, Georgia's transporting more infantry. Eventually, they're going to. They're just going to march that infantry will march that army against us and that's no good so we need to make sure we go deal with that with however many ships are necessary Alexandria's blockaded Latakia's still blockaded okay let's see if I can immediately make peace with Russia because sometimes you can sadly not if that navy goes for our port we're very vulnerable we do need to block off Crimea because they've got some armies here ready to attack us fortunately the fleet is small and it's just fifth rate okay I think what we have to do I think is try and make peace with Russia, because they do actually have a fleet near our port anyway. So let's start to try to recruit some fourth race to protect that. Um, I think what we need to do is take Breslau. I'm, I am going to manually fight it, because I don't want to lose a bunch of troops in an auto-resolve. I think we need to take Bra Prague and Breslau, try and make peace with Russia, so we can focus our investment on dealing with the Ottomans once and for all and the Russians now or building up a navy to handle the Russians don't need to worry about our tactical positioning quite so much here good It's maybe not deploy you right behind my infantry and blow their heads off. Just focus on making breaches. So I've got my foot in my foot artillery aiming here. My howitzers are gonna start chipping away at this section. They are gonna get some freebies against us, but I think they'd get a lot more. Actually, right. Let's all focus on one area so that the, to hope that they use their the logic to defend the breach kicks in and a bunch of these units run down here. Okay, the 
and their militia have abandoned their guns. I suppose you could start to split your fire and work out what the best target is to try and you know could you switch your foot artillery to attack the other breach okay like now you guys are going to attack here and my howitzers attack there because my howitzers will be enough to knock down that section of the wall and we can start doing damage to this other breach and try and cause their guns to be destroyed although it looks like they have already elected to abandon those guns so let's move our line forward how it's just use carcass shot drop them drop those rounds right in the breach because they're all sat in there ready to defend ah oh, you're reloading Okay, we're going to rely on our knowledge of how the AI responds to things. A reasonable hit, but if I was quick by me, we'd have done so much more. scaling the wall we can try and shoot back at them we got nothing as long as we have to keep hold of our ammunition to be honest I may as well use my howitzer to engage this section of the wall as well because they will be useless They're trying to do precision attacks here knocked some fellows back but they're going to get back up They don't quite know what they want to do. They're going to rush up on top of the wall. No, they're going to rush out the gate and try and stop us. How cute. four men remaining you guys take position behind the assault unit oh you're going to come out and play are you form square we've taken the gate anyway you can't come out and play Go kill those last militia. Secure the breach and then we'll just storm in. I mean, we could storm the breach anyway. Just... They can't stop us. Let's see if we can make them commit. Kill that last militia man, he's on the floor. There we go, just charge in, surround the Hussars. Send some units to secure the uh, center. Ceasefire the howitzers.
and multiple units to defend the center. Get him! I'll just make all of you attack the Hussars. They may cut many of my infantry down, but you will all die. 79th can take the center. Excellent. Enemy general's been killed. It's only this light horse unit that's actually still here. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that is Breslau. Oh, pardon me. That is Breslau taken. So let's focus on repairing the government building. Don't worry about replenishing troops yet. Then we want to try take Prague. They will have reinforcements, so let's move you up. Just in case, see what they get. Well, I might even... Switch some units around. Siamo pronti. Avanti, so that I've always got... Well, so that I'm effectively just filling up this forward army. Signore, i vostri ordini... Keeping them topped up with top quality infantry. Okay, 150 odd. Can you come Uomini, out? Send avanti, you in. Marcia. I'm happy to keep some conscripts there, but just keep the conscript numbers high. Um, and yes, I do want to swap out you for some bugged artillery. <laughs> so much artillery. Um, and a couple of elite units, but that's okay. Right. So I think once we take Prague, we might be able to make peace. And it's very dangerous because we've got a lot of Russian armies will be very close together. And it's only a matter of time before they declare on us again. But if we fortify Prague, they'll have to assault a fort. And that's very, very problematic for the AI. So I think that's the objective. Okay, let's... The main thing is going to be where do the where are the enemy reinforcements coming in, and when they are vulnerable, run our cavalry in to go wipe them out. We're doing we're gonna do a bunch of counter battery. They're very unhappy about it. Run up. They've not got much infantry, so when they when they've run out of other units to bring in, we'll be able to surround their their pocket. position uh, something like that just get within musketry range just enough to chase them off get these lancer guards under some pressure Shot their general out of the saddle. Send two units to assault those gun positions. And 
and you guys effectively have to get through to here as quickly as you can. It's not a question about losing, being worried about losing people, it's just more about minimising the amount of time that we're going to be exposed with all of their artillery. Limber up my howitzers, my foot artillery don't have the range. Make my cavalry forward because this artillery unit's advancing into a position of vulnerability. How it's as my foot artillery are not going to be in the action, realistically. They may well focus on my cavalry as I push in, and that's fine. But we've just got to get in, get in at speed. Spread out. So they have to open fire, they have to pick which one of us they're going to get. The answer is neither of us, they're going for the this unit of conscripts. We are going to want to kill this unit because we're not going to want it surviving. Depriving the enemy of their horse guard artillery is always a good idea. Could push in, but those Lancer guards have got me. got me a bit jittery. So let's do this then. They're going to be funky. Yep, fall back. Go on, their Lancer guards to get triggered. Let's speed up time until our infantry units start getting into position. Visibility on the 27th. This artillery column coming in. We've got some Grenadier Guards or something to come in still, yeah. Keep my general over here. Because they are within range of... Well, they are able to engage the enemy artillery as it comes in. Oh, the enemy artillery is just going to run in. Run into us. My general can chase after their artillery. Yeah, their line infantry is good at 
He's good at melee. And kill the last of those gunners. Let's bring the cavalry over here. that last uh, one can get away bring my general back to keep the infantry fight over here a bit more palatable there you go. once you men form up they don't have a chance Lancer guards have pushed up. The horse artillery is trying to advance through my line. Let's try to deal with some of them. They form up. Everyone can fire at will. Everyone's pouring musketry onto them. Except for my general. My general can chase down the line infantry. Prussian fusiliers, Prussian grand air guards. Yeah, they can do some damage. If I had quicklime, I'd be. Oh, I really need quicklime. Engineers are broken. Engineers are. I mean, yeah, engineers are going to go, are going to deploy stakes. The Lancer guards are still fighting. Yeah, they're coming in again. They've decided they like charging us. Engineers are trying to charge us. Okay, the lances are broken. Get out of square. Form line. These two units bayonet charge those engineers. So his engineers like melee, but we're in there now and it's kind of the way it is. You men are going to push to make sure that you guys don't engage. Actually, you guys might just run around the back. Push the conscripts in. But I want you guys to get around the back and charge into the rear. There we go. Concerned because they've been attacked in the rear. Just keep attacking them, slaughter the ones that we've got trapped. But that's enough, we haven't got to do any more chasing than that. So that is Prague secured. Let's see if we can get peace with Prussia. Quest peace. Got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And let's see if we can trade. And we got it, which is excellent. One second, guys, I quickly have to nip to the loo. And we are back in right. So they don't actually... Well, we're going to keep this city garrisoned for a while. Let's bring up some of these elite troops. We're probably going to build upgrade Budweiss to a church school. Okay, weakest infantry unit. Let's do some topping up. You, then you can be combined in with you. 119. Let's try and create as many full strength units as we can. 
conscripts can be folded out. You got space for three elite infantry units. There we go. So. Be methodical about our repairs. We probably want to replenish or repair some of these industrial buildings that have been constantly raided. Bavaria we're very friendly with, which is positive. We don't want them declaring war on us. I'm hoping Poland, Russia will disperse its armies around its empire. We don't really need to worry about Prague being happy. Could probably do with better roads. But that's probably going to be it. Um... So we need to dispatch some fifths to go attack. Well, firstly, yeah, it is just a privateer. Dispatch two fifths to attack this Georgian privateer. It's worth it just to make sure that the army itself is destroyed. Okay, let's push in. Push in and take it. I mean, not that we really want it. We just want it destroyed because it's got a bunch of Prussian uh, Georgian troops on board. Yeah, we need more more ships. Why are you... Oh, you're going in? Okay, right, 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 I got gotcha. you. You can try actually get ahead of them. But Leon... Leon Triumphante. You know, you can sail on. Sail on and try to get around the back of the privateer. Chain shot might be ideal, just to try and knock out, a, knock out some sails and slow them down. To be honest, you might even try to board it. We haven't thinned out her crew much, but we actually know to be honest. Starboard port broadsides. Probably don't want to go too mad with trying to capture it just yet, considering. Stay like that, stay in range. Okay, come on. Keep on hitting it, we've knocked out two guns. Couple more guns. What we want to do is split her fire. Okay, you're going to corkscrew around, pivot around this way. Slow, slow down. 
while the while the broadside gets ready. Fire it now. On San Miguel. Keep hitting the hull. Neon Trio Fante is ready to fire. You might blast, yeah, blast her. Chain shot, broadside into her mast. Didn't do a Scooby. Need to press, keep your, um, keep your flank pushed in. She's gonna fire. Now you can turn. Position to fire some shots into her from here. Yeah, sail around. Engagement. Broadside, hopefully, to make a surrender. We have to continue. She may well get away. These things can happen. I'll bring you guys back when we've worked out. Uh, what's going to happen so see you in a second everyone sadly we're not going to catch her so hopefully um, we've caught her when she has no movement and she then sinks anyway so a bit of a shame we won't manage to grab the ship but there we are um so we those those the troops may well soon soon die now they've just fled I'm going to chase them up into up into the Sea of Azov just to make sure they definitely perish. <laughs> yeah, why not? Bring her into our service. We're at a stage where we need <laughs> we need ships. So you men are going to come into port for repairs and then this fleet Is going to go blockade Sevastopol to prevent them from moving. Uh, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. They really want Bulgaria. They're offering to give me 40 grand for it. I mean, if that wasn't such a big dent in my um, territory, I might actually do it. You, you've missed a couple of shots to go for Baghdad, which is unfortunate. Then at Ankara. I think we need to march towards Yerevan. Start to uh, put some pressure on the on the um, Ottomans, defeat them so their navies disappear. So all we have to focus on is 
for the time being, the Russians. They've got a fleet here, which if they do engage us, I'm going to water resolve it because we're currently equal on ships and I don't trust myself to be that decisive. Fifth, the fifth rate's faster? No, they aren't. Okay, you've still got a lot of religious unrest, so I'm going to let my priests carry on. At least we do have trade with the um, pr with the Prussians now over land, so that shouldn't be quite so easily dealt with. But still, we're slowly creeping towards quicklime. I think it will be not this turn coming, it's the turn after when we get it, I think. I just really hope that Russian army... I mean, I can't see what, what else it's going to do except go for me. Uh, do I want to intercept that Spanish navy? Absolutely not. So a strategic priority is to no. A strategic priority is to get walls onto Prague. That is critical. Absolutely critical. Oh don't attack my fleet near No Run, run, run. I can't run. I'm not gonna fight it because I'm just not good enough. I'm gonna just roll the dice. No, I mean, yeah, yes! right Screw you. Screw you, Ottomans. Yes, we will take your ships. Ooh. See, you know. Oh, no. I'm going to roll it with auto-resolve again. Your town is on yes. I mean, when the Russian fleet comes in, it will kill us. If it, if it does go after me. That's right. Walk away. Oh no. If they, I mean, if they blockade my port, that's really bad. They're not. Um, I'm going to jump on the intercept just because they, they can't be going anywhere else except to blockade me. So I have to do it. So I've currently got one ship, but only because I, my my actual fleet in my port is my reinforcements, and they lost all of theirs. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, right. I need to get my fleet that's currently outside Crimea into a port quickly. Yes, Genoa! No, Genoa. Georgia are probably going to go pick up some more troops. Uh, no. I'm interested in making you a, I'd make you a protectorate, but not with any of those territories in the Balkans. No way, Jose. So, whoop. Yeah, you guys need to get out of dodge, because they are coming for you. Their army has left, so the immediate worry is dealt with. Let's reinforce you guys in case they want to go for Istanbul. Heroic death, absolutely. Let's recruit a new admiral. Okay. Let's go for some of the cheaper Upgrades to my wealth. 
Let's repair that. So you're just ready to hold off the Polish. Okay, let's not do that. We've got... I mean, it's nice having this army running around as a uh, firefighter. Let's actually take some of our smaller units and combine them to try and add more... Actually, no, you've got plenty of elites as it is. Ah, what the hell, you can take one more. Get a grenadier in there to make up, make it a bit different. Again, the strategic priority was to build walls, but we haven't done that. So that's why having you nearby is really important. Let's repair the government building so we can start to get some taxes. Okay. In theory, you two could swap now, because you're a very good battlefield army, whereas this is a very good reinforcing army. Well, good garrison, reasonably good garrison army. But let's not worry about that yet. I mean, yeah, you are definitely going to go after these guys. But I think the current strategic priority... Because if I can get Yerevan, I can potentially get Tbilisi and force a peace. Maybe. You can keep pushing. We get quick climb next turn. That doesn't help Dimitrio Ferretti. Got 600 cash. Doesn't really help us because it's not enough to build anything except galleys and light galleys. Okay, one more turn till quick line, one more turn till punch card loom. We're still researching on naval tech, which is great. Once Verona's done quick line, they're going to get on with the rest of their philosophical technologies, including secular humanism to help knock down that religious unrest. Okay. So I think next... I think this turn is the turn I'm going to build walls. Spain's going to probably going to send another army to go after Naples, but you can keep trying, Spain. I'm happy to keep defending it. Ho I'm hoping that Prussia eventually starts to succumb to financial pressure, trying to keep such a large army in the field. It's only a matter of time before Poland comes after me, but at least now the Ottomans are too weak to actually blockade most of my trade. I mean, Russia's going to do that. That's fine. I'd much rather they do that than... Well, only one of my ports are currently blockaded, actually, as far as trade is concerned. I'd rather that than two of them. Genoa is helping keep the sea, keep helping to keep the sea free of Ottoman slime. Okay, I might have to go after that stack of Georgian troops and kill them. Make sure they definitely die. Keep blockading, that's fine. New town emerges in Bosnia. We got already have a church school here, have a craft workshop. We've got quick climb and punch card loom. So don't go on to rockets. We don't need that. Carry on with secular humanism. Konya's gone on to power loom, which is not terrible. I can probably also stand to actually. No, I no 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 strategically do that upgrade you to a classical university you're still you're pretty unhappy about it and this is the why the reason why i'll need a big garrison and i need to build you upgrade you to a coaching in so what are you a brig and a sixth 
let's just bring everybody except for the light galley. Oh yes, yes, sail around Crimea. Let's go get him. We probably want to bring the sixth into the fleet as well. I mean, we're at a point now we, we can't turn our nose up against anything. You know, it, it's all useful to us now at the minute, especially at this part of the game. I mean, the brig, not quite so much. The sixth ray, though. But the main thing, again, with this, is just that we're just we're killing another stack of Georgian troops, which is super useful. It means we haven't got to fight them in Istanbul. And we can deploy the whole fleet, because we're going to put this fleet back into port before the Russians can do anything about it. They may, see, they're, they're continuously adjusting their turn so they can stay ahead of us. But that's okay. It's the sixth rate that we're... Well, I don't mind if we split their formation in half. It's only a brig of war. So Mehmet Bay. Once we've cut them in half, it will be a lot easier. You are going to fire chain, because I do want you to... I do want to knock some of the sails out of the 6th rate. Let's get the back of our column push this way against the rig. Switched around shots. ready to start pummeling. This time I do want to knock them out. Come on, heal over. Answer the helm. Foremast is gone. Surrendered. It's blasted brig of war. Let's try to do the same with you. Drop anchor. She's about to push into within range. Hit the set him hit the mast, but we didn't do anything with it. We killed someone with that one.
Okay, she's routing. And she should... Well, she's routing into these two ships that are blasting it with chain. Ooh, okay, right. I don't want them to bring the brig. It's mostly the half stack we wanted to get rid of. Back into port. We can fully repair, which is excellent. You're going to put Yerevan under siege. Because they do get reasonable garrison against us. And you too. Although you might you might attack Baghdad. Because if we can well, yeah, that means you might attack Yerevan as well. We could feasibly destroy the Ottomans this turn. Or do we sit on the defensive, allow them to be depleted from their own actions? Hmm. We may let them stew for a bit. Because you're ready to deal with the Russians when they come in. The main thing is you're building your stakes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let them stew for a bit because I can't really take... can't really hold the city with the money I've got. So I've sorted out my tech. I've got my ministers... Everyone's pretty... Yeah, everyone's okay. Plus one treasury. You're particularly good as my justice minister, but then again, so are you. Although maybe it might be... Are you better if I swap you? Overall, yes. I think that's a better trade. Again, you're also quite good for the army, but you're still four stars basic for the navy, so that's still good. Islam is still growing because of this guy. Another reason to kill the Ottomans. Their agents will disappear. Let's hit end turn. But at least if we get the Ottomans, we kill the Ottomans, that's them done. We'll still need a decent navy to help defend our... Aha! The Spanish have finally decided to move against us, have they? Well, looking at... Guessing at what I think the timer is, because we have chopped a couple of... Ep chop, chopped a bit here and there. It's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this Spanish raiding force. Cheers, everyone.